Okay then, in this video we will discuss polygons in Leaflet. So let's first of all clarify what a polygon is, just in case you don't know it. So polygon geometries or polygon features are fully enclosed areas. So let's have a look at polygons in geojson.io website. And in this website we have a small icon here called Draw a Polygon. So if I click on this, and if I start drawing, it, it encloses this area for me and then makes a polygon. All right, so this is a polygon. So if I, you know, draw a second polygon, so I can do that. So I can draw as many polygons as I want. So if you draw several polygons apart from each other, like separate ones, it would be multi-polygon. All right, so for instance, in here, I have three different polygons. I mean. They are not interconnected, they are far away from each other. So it's not it's not a single polygon. That's why it's called multi-polygon. So let's implement a polygon in Leaflet. So before we implement a polygon in Leaflet, I would like to give you just a um, heads up, like what we will do in, 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 this, in this video and in the next one. So we will implement this kind of small, very, very small dem uh, demo application. So in which we would be able to draw polygons. So we have a, we would have this kind of um, a button. So if I click on this button, it turns red. And if I click it again, so it becomes the same. Uh, I mean, white color. The background will turn to um, will go back to white. So if I if it's red. That means I am able to draw a polygon. So for instance, if I click, I am now drawing a polygon. If I double click, it turns blue and the the background color of the button will go back to the will go back to white color and I'm not able to draw a polygon anymore. So we will um, we will implement this demo um, application. So let's do that. But before, I would like to show you how to implement polygons in Leaflet. So all you need to do is you first of all define uh, a polygon object and you do that by calling this class, call it L.polygon. So once you call that, you need to pass your latitude and longitude coordinates to this class. So like this. And then you can pass options to this class and as usual you can find options in here all right so for instance options inherited from polyline options inherited from pass so like you can define your styling etc all right so then you need to add it to to the map to your leaflet map and for the latitude and longitude coordinates you can have this kind of you know simple uh, latitude and, uh, and uh, I mean you can have an array of latitude and longitude points like like in here or you can have this kind of outer ring and then inside that ring you can have a hole so let's implement this one step by step so first of all let's copy these two lines of code actually let's copy these three and now let's go to our code and in here so for now, let's comment out these ones. We don't need them anymore uh, right now, but don't don't remove them because we will need them in a minute. So let's do this. So now let's let's check what happened. So if we go to our code, so nothing happened. Oh yeah, because because map is not defined because here they're saying map but we should say my map because our map is the variable for our map is my map uh, okay so it's the same one in here my map so other than that everything should be fine so let's check so as you can see this is just a very simple polygon so now let's have a look at another example so at this one where we have outer ring and inside that outer ring we have a hole 
So I will just replace this latitude and longitude variable with that one. And then in, that should work. So as you can see now, we have one outer ring. This is an outer ring. And inside that one, we have a hole. All right. So now you can also pass several polygons uh, to your object, to your polygon object. So like this, first polygon, second polygon. In that case, it's going to be multi-polygon. All right. So let's do that too. So let's do that and check. So as you can see now, it's a multi-polygon. All right. Because we have actually three polygons, not two. So we have several polygons. That's why... Um, Okay, if you count this one first polygon and this is the second one, then yes, you have two polygons. So, all right, so I think it's very easy to understand how to uh, initialize polygons in Leaflet. So now let's get rid of this and let's start implementing our um, dynamic drawing example, dynamic drawing of uh, polygons example. So for that, what we need to do is we will use existing code which we implemented previously. So this one, click and double click events. So we will just uh, modify it so it works for polygon, not for polyline, all right? So what we need to do is first of all, let's, uh, let's actually copy this one, this polygon, and then replace, replace this polyline with polygon. So we have replaced a polyline with polygon. Now we have polygon and let's add it to our map. So and next step would be to modify our click event. And here we have click event, which adds latitude and longitude values to polyline. So we need to modify it so it works for polygon. So that's why we copy this instead of polyline, we say polygon. Very easy. So now our example should work. So let's check. Uh, lat length is not defined. All right. So that's because this one, we don't need this. We need empty array. So now let's check. Yes. So as you can see, it is drawing a polygon, but we cannot you know, like finish, finish off this polygon. I mean, like finish drawing this polygon because when I double click, it says draw polyline is not defined. Obviously, we deleted that polyline object. That's why it says um, undefined. So now let's, um, let's modify our double click event as well, this one. So it works for polygon. So what we do is let's start here. Instead of master polygon, Polyline will say polygon, master polygon. So, and in here, instead of polyline, it's going to be polygon. And the remaining part can stay as is. That's fine. So blue color is fine. If you don't, if you don't like blue color, you can change it. Or if you want to pass some other options to this L dot polygon class, that's fine too. So instead of master line coordinates, Let's make master polygon coordinates. So we'll say master polygon coordinates. So now in the double click event, we should say not click at all coordinates. Oh, that's fine actually. In here, we should not say draw polylines. We should say just polygon because in here we have polygon, this one. So we're just doing the same one as we did previously. It, uh, on double click, it's just getting all the uh, latitude and longitude values from this object, polygon object. So now let's print out. For now, we can comment out the remaining part. So I will just say console log. I just want to show here something. So, so now if I, I'm in the console, so let's draw it. So draw a polygon. And if I double click, it's going to print out an array. So in here, as you can see, I have an item. So that's this item. So inside array, I have one array, I mean one item, and, and that item holds my you know, latitude and longitude values. Previously, there wasn't this kind of 
item so it was just direct access to it was providing direct access to these you know now let's turn along to values so that means if i leave everything in here as is it's not going to work so let's try so click at all coordinates except the last one that's fine so click at all coordinates slice and then click all coordinates lengths minus one it's not obviously it's not going to work because in here we need to access our items right let's turn along to um, values for that i need to go to the first item of the outer array so i'll show you so if i just do that it says uncode reference error muscle line coordinates is not defined so it's it's on line 80 so oh this one uh for now i can just comment out this all i need this so console log click at all coordinates i just want to print out this and show it to you so if i just do that you see so my my log out i mean or when i say console log it's empty because i'm not being able to access it in here uh, in here in this line so what i need here what i need to change in here is go to the first item and the first item would be item number zero in the outer array and now let's check it again oops i have now access to the latitude and longitude values all right so i hope this makes sense so now everything should work so we just delete this we don't need any more so now in here master line instead of master line we don't have master line anymore we just say master polygon line um, oh sorry master polygon coordinates this one master polygon coordinates push that's fine and instead of master polyline we say master master polygon and set latitude and longitudes would be master polygon coordinates this one and again here we don't want to set draw polyline to empty we want to set because this draw polyline doesn't exist anymore so we'll just say polygon set latitude and longitude set l lat lng so this one if you, if you already know it just removes remove all lat or just empty in the polygon object okay so we don't need this for now so i think that should work let's check so now if i just draw my polygon and if i double click yes it is working as expected and it's just printing out my arrays so for instance one two three oh it's just printing out four ah uh, so this one and this one they are identical um so is it working actually in here let's check oh click at all coordinates yes length minus one Look at all coordinates. So let's check one more time. So So this is click at all coordinates and let's print out this one as well. So I just want to see if they are the same or no, not. So this would be this and in here. So So let's check oh no that's fine so in the first one we have six arrays so and in the second one let's check so one two one one two four nine six nine six nine nine two nine uh two nine five three nine five all right 
everything looks fine previously i'm sorry i made a mistake so previously it was printing out click at all coordinates not click at all coordinates except the last one so i got confused and i was i thought that this is this this was for for you know click at all coordinates except the last one but this was a good check so that means everything is working as expected so that's it regarding this video so let's check one more time yeah everything is fine so that's it regarding this video in the next one we will implement a button and will assign a functionality to that button so that it will allow us you know when it's click it and when it's when it's active it allows us to draw a polygon and when it's not active or deactivated it just stops drawing it so thank you very much and i'll see you in that next video